Jesus. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I feel very sad this morning. Not just because we've compelled our senior citizens who have served our country faithfully and worked so hard to accumulate their pensions. And when we are in crisis, the vulnerable are the ones we prioritize. They are not the ones who take their money. But unfortunately, today, they are the ones who are taking their money. And I don't know who we are going to use those monies to sell. But Mr. Speaker, are we still a proud nation? <laughs> are we suddenly no more a proud nation that we are all over the place begging people who borrowed money from and telling them we can't pay them and there are no consequences for this? Mr. Speaker, next time somebody serves in public office and tells you, I don't want to be paid, you should be very careful. You should be extremely careful because few things are expensive. And it is an example of what we are experiencing today. Mr. Speaker, if managing our economy is all about collecting people's monies and loans, celebrating with cake and fish, and in the end run the economy into a ditch and refuse to pay them and use that to create economic stability, then we must as well as solve this country to an artificial intelligence so they manage this economy for us. Because the management of an economy is a lot more than that. Mr. Speaker, we are in this house. When they came trying to find different vehicles to hide our public debt, they came here and said that you can take $1.5 billion even without a balance sheet and it will not be a government of Ghana debt. They came here and said Esther PLC can take almost 10 billion Ghana cities and it is not public debt. They came here and said they are bringing butter to build our roads in Sino Hydro. In the 21st century, they were bringing for in Chile, Veggie Moko, in Ghana. <laughs> Bring pepper and collect salt. But how can this group of people that call themselves property only Democrats are the ones collecting people's properties? So when they come telling you we are property only Democrats, think twice. They will come after your property. They will come after your savings. Mr. Speaker, they will come and destroy your banking sector. We are talking at the $3 billion, and the impact is that the banking sector is losing in present value terms. 41 billion Ghana cities. Ah. How do you expect a banking sector that is almost capitalized at 30 billion to survive 41 billion? So, have you solved the problem? You've rather transferred the problem from the government to destroy our banking sector. Mr. Speaker, how come the Bank of Ghana that is supposed to regulate our banks was sleeping when the people were investing all their monies in government toxic assets? We have a simple principle of single obligor limits. It is a law that says that you shouldn't ever expose yourself to one person. It turned out that 75% of all the monies in the banking sector was in government bonds. Government, 71% of government domestic bonds were in the hands of these people. And the Bank of Ghana was watching off. Mr. Speaker, our pension funds, the National Pension Regulatory Authority said, Go and risk 85% of your money on toxic government bonds. Mr. Speaker, where does that happen? And today, today, we are here with this boring and appalling statement. Mr. Speaker, we are not angry enough. As a country, we are not angry enough. This cannot happen to anybody. And yet, you are wasting our money, you are taking our money, and you are here reading this boring statement to us. You can see that this is not a joke. And you are even quoting the Bible. Who of the Bible are you quoting? Quoting the Bible in taking our money, in making us poor, in denying the poor pensioner his money, and you still are quoting the Bible. It is the reason some of us don't go to church, because in the end, this is what we get. <laughs> this is what we get. Mr. Speaker, this matter, I want to take an appeal to you to refer this matter back to the Finance Committee for proper oversight. The Bank of Ghana must come to explain to us how they allow the banking sector to act itself.